Hi there and welcome back. We're on part two of this beautiful sunset. So let's get started with the white. Grab our filbert brush. Just get that sun nice and bright. Just put white in there. We've waited for this to dry, of course. So now I have dry paint with wet on top. That sun nice and bright. Smooth that paint out so it's not too globbed on. Just keep working your brush back and forth. And then bring it down, bring that reflection down. Go ahead and dance it across those waves. Just let it flow. If you need a little oil, grab a little oil. I touched my tip of my brush into the oil. I'm gonna just kind of push that across here a little bit. Then I'm gonna come up here into the clouds. We're just still working with just white. Bring some of those highlights up into the clouds. This part shouldn't take as long as the first part because we're just putting the color in, doing whatever you want at this point. Bring the waves in and beautiful highlights in the sky. We're going to work with only white and yellow at this point. It might take a little longer. You could take as long as you want on it. You know, put as much clouds in there as you want or as little as you want. This is just a short study. Okay, I think I want to put a little more highlight down in here. So where the sun's hitting those clouds really good and strong. And they're going to sweep across here a little bit. Just go to the tip of the brush, get the tip of the brush wet with white, not too much. You'll know when you got a too big a glob on there, it's just not going to flow. So fun. Imagine you're at the beach again. Oops. See, you and I make a boo boo. <laughs> you just wipe it off because it's all dry. You can use a paper towel if you don't want to use your fingers. Just keep grabbing that white until you're happy with how much you're going to have in there because we want these clouds to really pop that beautiful highlight reflection of the sky. Pull it across to your little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Pull some over here. Here. Maybe sweep some across this sky part here. Maybe put a, whoops, I got too much paint on the tip. Just tap it off. Get too much on there, just tap it off. Wipe it off with a paper towel if you need to. Like this, pitch and pull. Wiggle it around, push it around. Let the brush just kind of push into it. You want, might want a stiffer brush if you don't like the flex in these little ones. Just go to a shorter brush, see how long that one is. You can go one that's half that length and then you can have a little more control. But I love the filberts because I can make my, uh, a, just so it just doesn't make a, weird mark, like the corner of the brush on a flat tip will <clears throat> make a funny mark. Sorry, clearing my throat. Been out doing farm chores. You can probably hear the roosters crowing in the background. Dust gets in my throat. I'm gonna put a little bit down here. Just kind of bring in your pattern of clouds in here. <clears throat> Sorry if I got in the way. 
bring your powder into the clouds and to your sky till you like them. And then we're going to go to the yellow. Get that strength in here. Strong sun, maybe a little more white. strong reflection in there. It's going to come across this wet sand, pretty solid, where the waves, when they break up, it breaks up the reflection. But when the sand, you've got it on the flat sand, it keeps a nice solid reflection all in a row, just like that. Like a bead of sunlight. Now we're going to grab some yellow. Start bringing that yellow in on the sides of the white. And this one might take as long as the last one. You never know until you start painting. Just pull that out, pull it out, pull it in, whether you're left-handed or right-handed, in or out. More yellow. See, and then we're going to go with the orange next. So the orange will blend with the yellow, and then we're going to go to the crimson. That will start making a peach sound. Or it means <laughs> sound. What did I just say? Uh, <laughs> a peach color. That's what I meant to say. Here we go. Bring that yellow in here. Just kind of get it a little bit wet out here because we're going to bring the orange back in, and all that paint underneath is dry, so it's going to affect that. I think I want to pull this yellow around the sun a little more. Just don't go into the, don't go into the light. <laughs> don't go into the sun too much because you'll lose your white. And if you do, you can just freshen it up later when it dries again. So no worries, no rules. This is just, we're having a good time. Now we're going to go up into the, I pinched my brush off again. Now we're going to go up in here into the white where we put it up here and just kind of add some light on top of those clouds, around those clouds. Isn't that just beautiful the way the light hits it? Just love that light. Oh, it's just powerful. Powerful, powerful. Just like William Alexander, he used to say, Mighty mountains. He taught Bob Ross how to paint. And I met him years ago. Got my picture taken with him and everything. It was pretty cool. Now we're going to go into the crimson, just a touch. No, I mean the orange. Whoopsie. <laughs> the orange. Next. We're going to start blending that into the yellow. See, it's kind of like a rainbow effect of colors. They just blend into each other. See how they just soften together? It's wonderful. Need a little bit of oil so that I can get that orange to flow better. Hope I'm not getting in the way, my goodness. Bear with me, this is my first time filming a short tutorial and I'm sure I will get better at doing short ones in time. So let's put some more yellow on there because I lost a little bit of it. I'm going to pull that orange over here. And grab a little more orange. Get that good and strong. Oops. See? I can do it too. I can mess it up. No worries. Just bring it back in. I love that crimson. Crimson with the orange now. Gives you a strong, strong flavor. <laughs> strong color. Okay. You have to get used to me. I'm a little goofy sometimes. But that's what 
I just love doing this. It's just fun. And once you practice and practice, you get better and better, and you just enjoy it. And notice the things around you and, and beauty and God's creation is incredible. Just inspires me to paint. I think I'm gonna go up here with a little bit of crimson with white. I'm just gonna bring in some darker. Just let the paintbrush flow around. Get a stick, like a stick would come up here like this, so it would go up to the top of the thing and you would balance your hand on it. It would be a long piece of dowel. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, let's get back to that pink. In fact, I'll show you the stick that I have here in a second. Let's bring some of that in here. Some of that beautiful peach color. Isn't that just beautiful? That dowel. I'll show you what I mean with the stick. This is a piece of dowel and it just rests at the top of your canvas and you can put your hand on there and rest it on there in order to keep your hand steady. See, if you need to keep your hand steady, this is what works really well. But if not, just keep pushing that color in. I don't want to go too fast here. It's just a short tutorial, but I want to be sure I give you that good value in here and show you what needs to be done. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, let's push some of that red down in here. And the more you deepen these strong colors, the more that sunset just gets stronger and stronger into your reflection too much and probably I will touch up these lighter areas once it's dry again just to kind of splash some more bright white in there now I'm getting into my ultramarine blue because I want to grab grab that horizon some more like ooh, look at that yeah see I'm balancing with my finger you can use your stick and you can paint this on any size you want. I'm just using a little five by seven in order to make this a short study and not make the video too long. But the wonderful thing is you get to rewind it and rewind it and rewind it. So you can get the best practice out of this. Ultramarine blue with the red. Now I'm kind of creating some waves. I'm going to pull them across. Let the white just soften that color a little bit. Touch it up. Got some waves. So that's the, and here's the last wave that's touching the beach. some white with the ultramarine blue to come out here and give some reflection from that blue sky up here touching the waves. Whatever the water, whatever the sky is like, the water will, will reflect it. And the sand beach here is Kind of wet so we'll drag a little bit of that down and just watch the ocean go spend a little time there or watch some videos what the ocean how the waves move and i'll do some more studies on how to 
do up close waves too so that you can, I can show you the light coming through. The wave is when they get transparent, when they curl over. If you want to learn more about that, I will do that for you. Just uh, send me some messages and let me know what you want to paint. That would be really helpful. And I'll probably tinker around with this painting a little more after we're done here. After I'm showing done showing you the basics, I might put more clouds up there. I might not. It just depends on what I feel about it once we're done with this quick study here. Now I'm pulling color into the sand from the sky. Get closer to us. I don't want to lose all my orange either. I think maybe I'll add some more crimson. Just give that beach some nice, rich, beautiful color. And you've got a beach. You've got your own beach you can go to Put it on your wall, enjoy it, give, give it to a friend. Now I think I'm going to put a little blue into this sky up here. So I added a little bit of crimson with ultramarine blue. Just kind of deepen the center part of that cloud. Maybe just work that brush. This is just a small filbert brush, filbert tip. Maybe you have the wind blowing that cloud all around a little bit. Not too much down here, just up here. With the crimson, it's going to make a nice, nice color. I think I'm going to grab my larger filbert brush so I can soften that, kind of push it around a little bit, Just kind of tap it. Maybe I'll put some white through here a little bit. Use your smaller brush too. You don't have to use this this brush. Whatever is comfortable to you. The way you touch the canvas. You might have a heavy touch. You might have a light touch. You just adjust your brushes accordingly. Just soft. That pretty. So pretty. Maybe a little bit up here. And just rewind the film. And, or the video, the film. <laughs> I'm talking old school, that is so funny. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna get a little bit more color down here, I think. Oops, this big brush is getting too big, might wanna Go to the little one again. Oops, look at that, see? I can mess it up just as easily. I'm gonna go to this one. This is another filbert that's sort of beat up a little bit. So your beat up brushes can't be very useful because they can push paint around. Because this one's shorter, see? It will give you more of a stiff rather than that flimsy uh, the one that's longer, it will flex more, which is, it's harder to control it when you're trying to move clouds around like this. So I'm just gonna soften some of this stuff. Maybe I'll bring a little bit more crimson in here. 
Maybe I'll just put some over here, some up here, maybe some more white. Maybe I'll put more white in here. Maybe I'll maybe I'll come over here and put a little here and here. See how that brightens that up? That's pretty. A little pink. A little pink. A little highlights of clouds. A little bit more pink. Wispy winds blowing this direction. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Maybe I want some more stuff down here breaking this up. You know, it's, it's your world. It's your world, so you just... Just play with that. Yeah. I think we're just about done here. Soften this out. Let me look at that. I think, I think... Maybe a little bit more. Maybe something coming down here like this. Just bounce it. Yeah. Maybe a little more reflection back in here. We lost it a little bit. Just put that solid reflection on the beach. Just like that. Beautiful. Okay. I think that's pretty nice. Let's put a little more orange in here to pull that back into the sun here. I've moved away from the canvas so that I could see it better. You really got to do that sometimes because you could lose that perspective. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this and I will be doing more, more ocean scenes. Just want to get that good strong color in there. And you can keep messing with it Keep bringing your orange around to create a rounded sun like this. You want that sun to be more round? Grab some more yellow. Pull that yellow in. Oh, that's pretty. And more, more light. Do what you like. If you don't like these dark clouds, just add some more ultramarine blue with white. I think that's good. I hope you enjoyed it and, and join me on the next one. <laughs>